Hey, this is Contract Wolf. Welcome to the channel. Today we're doing another Call of Pripyat Gunslinger episode. We recently reached 2,000 subscribers. Thanks a lot, everybody. It means a lot. Also enabled membership on the channel. It's like Patreon. You get perks for access to member-only live streams, exclusive voting polls for new playthroughs, so you actually have a say in the channel. Custom badges on the channel, and I'm also working on a Discord community for members only. Each video, I'm giving a shout out to the mercs on the channel. Shout out to Dead Eyed Monk for becoming the first mercenary. And you guys encourage me to keep doing this. But anyways, enough talking. Let's dive into this episode. So we're at the Gauss Rifle Research, one of the big ones that they tested. Just got done killing a pseudo giant in the last episode. In case you're just watching this now, there'll be a playlist at the end of the video. That way it shows all the videos. You can go back and watch whenever you want to. I had a poltergeist here killed him but he could have respawned we had a camp of loners here it's funny because the whole time i was fighting the poltergeist poltergeist didn't give a damn about them got three artifacts here Yeah, I've got the Firefly and the uh, Wrenched. Let's see if I can't um, get one of these artifacts. There we go. Sparkler. Go ahead and put this on our belt. Gives me electrical protection. Not a big fan of the electrical anomalies. Um, always hated them the most. But that was pretty easy. Not too bad. Got a flash. Take that off my belt. We can go back to Beard and see if he wants some of these artifacts. When he requests the artifacts, he actually pays a lot. So it's always good to See if he needs one of those. See, so if you haven't played uh, Gunslinger for Call of Pripyat, I highly recommend it. It's a really good mod. It really does modernize Call of Pripyat quite a bit, even though Call of Pripyat is the most modern out of the three since it's the last one they made. Pretty much all the Stalker mods that follow the uh, Misery blueprint, Call of Chernobyl, Dead Air, they all have the same Call of Pripyat UI. Alright, let's see if Beard wants an artifact that we've got. Make 7,000 rubles off that. Not as much as last time, but I think it was because I was selling some pretty high tier artifacts last time I sold the Beard. So, you got anything new? So let's turn in this uh, the schematics and everything. All right, we got our weapons repaired. Got to repair my armor. We're good. I'm just gonna like sleep through this. We should have that Gauss rifle ready to go. All right, so now I have a fully functional Gauss rifle. I'm gonna use this money to get back to Propriat. And now we have a Gauss rifle, we can actually kill a controller with it. Because there's going to be that sentry mission that's about to come up. Major, I have a favor to ask. Our sentry isn't responding. You know where the grocery store used to be? That's where the signal is coming from. Investigate it if you can. One other thing. Be careful. Over and out. All right, so there's going to be a controller that's going to be near this military sentry that's freaking out. I'm going to hit him with a Gauss rifle and see just how well that does. Gunslinger makes mutants much tougher. Makes the viewers almost unkillable. So I can't imagine what they'll do to the controllers. Yeah, military guy's freaking out. 
Filled with pseudo dogs. They teleport. There's one, there's more. I'm just clearing this area before I move into that cafe with that controller. He's going to come around the corner. He's not going to give us a lot of time. So, hopefully this Gauss rifle will actually put him down. You can always prep a grenade as well. I don't have any kind of mines or anything. Is it? You're gonna really make me shoot myself with a Gauss rifle. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Gunslinger. Mutants are fucking tough, guys. Let's see if I can get them from this angle. I'm out of the bathroom. Oh, he comes out right here. Where's he at? I got him. I got him that time. Base, the sentry is dead. He was acting strange and attacked me. I also identified and eliminated a controller in that area. Copy that, Major. The controller must have taken over the sentry. He was a good guy. It must have been what happened to the recon unit. The controller forced them to attack each other. Anyway, over and out. Oh my god, that fucking raven. That bird just like flew towards my face. I thought it was like a spider or something. I was like, wait. This is not in Stalker, what the fuck? Oh, the grenade fucked him up. Cool. Well, shot him in the arm with a Gauss rifle and then blew him up with a grenade. That's one way to do it. Yeah, we're definitely near the end game now. We are getting close to the evacuation appropriate. So he's about to give us a kit for helping him deal with that controller. And I've got grenades for my grenade launcher. Awesome. Now the only thing is, I probably should run the SIVA suit going to the lab. There's going to be a lot of psychic stuff going on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep running that. But once the lab's over with... We will put this armor on so we can deal with the monolith. All right, we're near Lab X8 now. Zombies. Lots of zombies. I just wanted to see him fly. I really didn't need to use that on him. Oh, just thought it would be funny. Kind of like overkill.
mainly just grab meds. Got this MP5 out. Here's a blood sucker. Oh shit. Didn't see that coming, did they? All right. The new mo I knew monolith were here, but. I can't remember which floor they would jump me on. Because this is Gunslinger. This is a little bit different, you know? This isn't normal color. This isn't normal color appropriate. on the elevator. SVD. But he missed me. Almost to the elevator. Thought he was going to get me. MP5 is pretty badass. You can point fire much faster than ADS. Aim down sights for people that don't know that. So, yeah. That'll help you a lot in CQB. Alright, if my memory serves me, they're on the left waiting to ambush. Guess that grenade killed him. Wait, 
Oh, you're nice. Found the emergency generator on the 6 4. The technical 4. It took two hours to get it working again. Love to turn it on, but the servant ordered me to stay put until he brings some people in. Alright, let's get to this elevator so we can go in the lab exit. Those grenades are going to come in handy. Alright, let's turn this generator on. Those bodies. All right, up and down. All right, we're in lab X eight now. I'm gonna use all the points and kill his snork. It's gonna be a snork jumping out of the floor. Snorks are pretty deadly in this mod. They can double tap you basically. Take it easy so the poltergeist don't detect me. Take it easy. Fucking burr. Yeah, you don't creep me out. I can imagine that being pretty creepy to somebody that's never dealt with a beer before. Documents are in here. Right there. Oh. Gotta hit him with a gauss rifle. Oh shit, he took my gauss rifle. Holy fuck, man. 
They're so fucking tough in Gunslinger. Holy shit. It's fucking fun. Give me my gun back. Give me my gun back. Come here, bitch. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here now. Get out of here now. Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit, that guy's fucking hard to kill. Get out. Get out. Holy fuck. Now you see, Gunslinger makes beers hard as fuck. Holy shit. That was like Radiophobia 3. I've still yet to kill a beer in this Gunslinger playthrough. Happy to see zombies. Major, I need to talk to you privately. I will say, when the game challenges me that much, I'm having fun. Because holy shit, that was awesome, even though it sucked. <laughs> You know, it reminds me of Clear Sky when you go to Red Forest. And the pseudo giant there is like almost unkillable. Oh, shit. God damn it. Yes. Almost back. Oh, man. Come on, Major. Put your gun away for God's sake. Everyone's jumping on us to dig. All right. Ooh. All right. Go turn in his Lab X8 documents. We've got a serious problem. This operation has been getting more ridiculous every minute since the helicopters crashed. The men are dropping like flies. We've got no comms with HQ, and the situation just keeps getting worse. The evacuation choppers didn't show up again. And at this rate, it won't be long before we lose control of the situation completely. We need to establish communications with HQ right now. Our communications expert believes that the signal is being jammed from somewhere close to us. He's working on getting the coordinates as we speak. I sent some of my men to check out a possible source of the interference, but they went missing, and their personal signals aren't registering. Major, one of your objectives is to establish communications with HQ. Given the situation we find ourselves in, this should be your priority from now on. Also, is it personal favor to me? Please find my boys. Yeah, I gotta restock on ammo and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that military stalker suit. Um, yeah. I guess they brought it enough. No doubt that this SIVA suit helped against the insane psychic shit that was going on in Lab X8, but not another lab that I have to go to, so I should be good for now. I'm just going to go ahead and put the Gauss Ruffle up in case I really need it. Upper off ammo, 556 ammo, and I need... Bog grenades from our grenade launcher. Alright, let's find this missing squad. Figure out what the radio interference is about. 
I'm wearing better armor now. It's going to take a little bit more punishment. Go ahead and load a grenade up. Made me jump. My volume's turned up. Kowalski here. Roger that. I got good news. We finally acquired the exact coordinates of the source of interference. The signal is coming from the kindergarten building. Come on. Come on. I'm about to hit you with a grenade. Where'd he go? I know. I was about to say, I notice bloodsuckers kind of do that sometimes, though. Alright, enough of this shit. I'm gonna blow your ass up. Hey, this episode's full of deaths. Got him. Dude, the mutants have been fucking unreal in this episode. This is why Pripyat always makes me nervous. <laughs> mutants are freaking crazy, dude. Spooky, spooky. Wait a minute. Stop build. Oh. I'm gonna saw build. Let's walk. Should have got my Siva suit, man. I had more saw protection. go how'd you get up in there I don't remember much I was so scared I could barely think and I don't even know what scared me but a feeling I had to hide so I ran I remember the streets turning somewhere I came into this hole the door was locked from the outside I thought I was gonna die in here how did you find me actually let's get the hell out of here and get, let's get closer to the base this place gives me the willies <laughs> is that really you well, I'll be. We were starting to think we'd never see our doc again. So what happened? Well, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Okay. Thanks for your help. By the way, the Colonel wants you to pay him a visit. Thanks. I'll do that. Also, Gary headed for Yanov's station to restock. He asked me to tell you that he won't be back for a few days. Gotcha. So, tell me, where were you? You're not going to believe me anyway, but in a fridge. <laughs> wow, never heard that one before. I spoke to the HQ commander and reported the situation to him along with all the information that's been collected. There won't be any helicopter support for a while. He suggested that we fortify our position and await further orders. USS observers are currently at the HQ, so you'll be able to talk to your superiors soon enough. Colonel, a radio signal has been detected, and its source is not far from the base. The transmission is encrypted, and I haven't been able to crack it yet. Do you have the coordinates? Yes, I have the coordinates, but the signal is intermittent, and it's moving. Monolith again? It's Strelock. <laughs> it's
It's true luck. This blew my mind when I was a kid. I was like, oh my god. It's fucking Strelok. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta go track his, track his signal. Easily the best moment in the game. In my opinion. Now I realize something. My sphere helmet doesn't even have a fucking flashlight. Idiotic. But it's got night vision. So, we're gonna roll with that. The signal is gone. see anyone it's close and it's moving toward our base underground it's underground major kowalski here you better get back here we need to prepare for possible attack bastards won't catch us with our pants down this time don't shoot i'm headed to the main entrance who are you It's the man himself. My name is Trelok. You're the stalker who disabled Death the Scorcher? Tower. Yes. But my plan didn't work. I came here to speak with your commanders. I have information that will allow the army to take control of the zone and destroy it. And the mission is starting. Come, let's talk inside. We've got a problem. Our choppers are crashing for reasons that we've not understood yet. Until we work it out, there won't be any helicopter support. The only way to get you the borders of the zone is on foot. The reasons are obvious. There are many anomalies in the air, especially in the center of the zone. We had a map with the safe air corridor between anomalies, and the helicopters had emission protection systems. That's odd. You're telling me you haven't noticed that anomalies move around after an emission. Some disappear, and new ones show up in different places, which makes your map of anomalies effectively useless. So that's what it is. What? Emissions don't just follow one another. If you can scan the area and identify all the anomalies, the choppers will be able to collect us safely provided they're dispatched right after an emission. We must inform the HQ of this as soon as possible. I'll contact my commanders right after the emission. Okay. Lieutenant, get him on the line as soon as you can. Yes, sir. All right, give me some uh, ammo. And I need sniper rifle ammo as well. Give me some grenades. Evacuation's coming soon. Because of the emission, it's impossible to establish comms during one. Okay. All right, listen up. Operation Fairway is being taken over by the USS. Is Major Dick Tariff there? Yes. Okay. He's in command from now on. Tell him to stay put. To be contacted by his superior shortly. Roger. Major Dick Tariff here. I read you. I've managed to acquire documents about experiments carried out in the zone. Furthermore, we've been contacted by a stalker who's been in the CNPP. His name is Strelok, and he's offered us his cooperation. Roger. Accept his offer. You know what caused our helicopters to crash? Yes, I have the data, and Strelok's information confirms it. The helicopters were hit by anomalies after their locations changed during the emission. The anomaly map issued to the pilots turned out to be useless. Good. That means we have until the next emission. We'll be collected together with the stalker from position B-28. Stingray squad will be evacuated with you. The birds are already in the air. Over and out. You heard the news, fellas. When we go, stick together and keep the stalker alive. Any questions? Get ready to move. Major, can I have a word? 
So among us, you and Sherlock have the most experience in the zone. The difference is that while Sherlock's experience remains hearsay, the fact that you're a pro is clear as day. What I'm trying to say is that I'm counting on you, Major. Keep an eye on Sherlock. There's not many of us left. All right, so I'm gonna try to keep these guys alive. It's it's not time. My main priority is keeping Sherlock alive. I'm putting my SIVA suit on since I actually have a flashlight. The thing about this AI I noticed is you got to stick with the Kowalski the whole time, or the or the shit will bug out. If you follow Sherlock, it will bug out. It's weird. To run! Crossbar is pretty bad. I go on through the arch. Alright, I gotta stick with Kowalski here and not follow Strelok because Strelok's AI gets weird. He like runs way ahead. He runs way ahead. We're on the way. Our orders are to take off if we come under attack. Stay alert and follow orders. We're real close to the evacuation point. Let's move. All right, go. Following you. There is no time. Check your weapons and fire at will. Pretty dark. Shot me in the back. Fire at will. Go! More snakes. Still really dark. About to hit a side field right here. Don't stop. Keep moving. Run. Side field. Get ready, men! Alright, there's about, about to be some Major snipers. Tyler, if we're taking heavy fire from an unidentified enemy, we cannot hold out for long. Shit! It's monolith fighters. Fire at wheel and keep moving towards the choppers. God damn it. Come on, One last push! One right behind us, too. God damn it. To the choppers, go, go, go! Fucking hell. Trying to move. Can't really 
gonna see shit. This is bad. Gotta get these snipers, man. Everybody's alive still, the important people. All right, well, I'm gonna end my playthrough here. Overall, I thought it was a really good mod, very immersive, but as far as the AI companions go, it's uh, very hit or miss. I didn't get to do every little side quest. I just wanted to like run through this before you know Stalker 2. We're going to be running through a bunch of other Stalker mods as usual. And I'm going to be finishing up my other playthrough that's active at the moment. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next playthrough.